all right so what's going on everyone so today um we're gonna do something pretty much different so the trend on youtube now is to take your car to carmax and see what they offer you so i'm gonna do that with my car well you know my car is not stock my car doesn't even have the stock motor in it so my buddy david and i we're gonna ride over to carmax it's probably about like half a mile from here so we're just gonna go over the car a little bit real quick now this is a 17 year old car so the paint on the roof isn't the best so we'll take that into account the check engine light is on because well that's in the old cluster gauge and there is no 4.6 motor it's a 5.0 now so it's kind of wondering where that 4.6 motor went so they're probably going to take that into account too so i'm just going to go over what they might take into account and i know they don't take cars older than i think 10 years old so my car is 17 years old so i don't expect them to offer me really anything or if that so I think they'll just tell me probably better to take my car to an auction, but I'm just curious and I do want to see what they'll offer me. So if you're new to this channel or you're viewing this video and you have never seen this car, so we're going to go over it just real quick. So it's got racing seats. It is a five speed manual and it's got decals, Robo's wheels, a custom Cobra bumper, a quad tip exhaust, aftermarket taillights, and I don't think they'll take anything aftermarket wise into account either because the hood is aftermarket, but the bumper is a 99 to 01 factory. The rear bumper is factory, just uh, custom without saying Cobra. And this is what I'm waiting for to what they say. I kind of thought about doing that, and I just want to like upgrade to a newer Mustang. So I might see how I might actually do that or I just might say like when they ask me why I'm trading it in or why I, why do I want to I just want a newer Mustang because I don't like this box style So we're gonna head over to CarMax and I know that from the past videos I've seen They don't like people filming the employees and stuff. So I'm gonna try to get as much footage as I can So just bear with me about that So I'm gonna carry my backpack in and then I'm gonna have my camera with me and I'm gonna try to record the conversation but I know they're really big on like employees faces being in the camera and stuff like that so I'm going to avoid all costs about doing that inside but outside I'm going to try to film them uh, appraising the car and looking at the car so we're gonna head over there so we ju I just parked the car and um, I'm about to walk in so again like I told you guys what I'm expecting is maybe a hundred dollars and my reasoning behind that is it's a 2001 Mustang they're gonna go by the mileage the mileage on the body is over 300,000 they're gonna look at the paint on the roof because it's starting to finally peel for the factory paint they're gonna diminish that and then they're gonna look at the check engine light and be like well you know we're just gonna diminish that anyway so they're just gonna pick out the little small problems I believe and then they're just gonna come to the big conclusion like dude this car is pretty much an aftermarket car like there's nothing literally stock on this except for maybe your door panels and cluster gauge and dash you don't even have the stock seats in anymore you don't even have your back seats where are your back seats so i'm guessing maybe a hundred dollars not like literally that is the highest i think they'll pay me or they'll just tell me to just kind of like get lost and just i'm better off selling it at you know a private party sale or maybe they might offer like five hundred dollars at most and be like look you know we'll buy it but it's just going to go to an auction we're not going to sell it on our lot but we're just going to see how it goes so again i'm going to put the camera in my backpack and then when they come out to appraise a car i'm going to just start filming and they probably will say something but again i'm not going to try to get their face into the camera so the camera is just going to kind of be like everywhere so just bear with me a little bit so i'm just going off the past videos i've seen on youtube so let's do this Uh, they're gonna give you a thousand. I think like five hundred. We'll see. So like I said, like I can't be filming kind of right now, especially not them. So we're just gonna film once they like leave the drive the car. So I'm just kind of being respectful of the property and stuff like that. So just kind of bringing you guys a new video and see what you think. So I'm just gonna kind of just walk around to make sure not to get their property or any of them in the video. So. 20,000, right? <laughs> a little bit. Right. Good. How many horsepower did you kick? Huh? Uh, Whose car is it? Mine. What kind of horsepower did you kick? Uh, right in the corner. 
a uh, brand new 16 crank motor from uh, Ford. Wow. wow. I'm just kind of curious. I, I want one of the newer Mustangs. Uh -huh. um, just kind of see what this one's worth. Oh, okay. So, so do you have it up for sale? How are you doing? Uh, yes and no. I've been debating, but I'm kind of contemplating rather to sell it. So who built it for you? I did. Uh, I had a friend of mine do the uh, wiring and stuff like that. but. time driving it just a little bit yeah. it really doesn't take that much to get used to so I don't know if you could hear it I'm gonna try to like just cut in and out of what I could just get there but like I said I can't be like getting their faces I asked a guy if I could get his face in the camera he said he really didn't want it or he didn't really want his uh, face in the camera so I'm just being respectful of that and he was a cool guy and stuff like that so he just kind of like you know they were kind of like well I told them when they were asking me the questions, I was like, yeah, it's got a new motor in it. I didn't tell them what motor. I told them the mileage in the car, the specifications, and he pretty much just laid out, like I said, you know, it's an older car, it's got a few imperfections, so they're pretty much, the buyers, when they come out to appraise it, they're just gonna pretty much, it's gonna be an auction car if they did buy it from me, so. They're not gonna offer me what I did want, but I had an older gentleman come up to me and he was like, you know, just out of curiosity how much, you know, would you sell the car for i told him like 17 or 18 which i think is reasonable for a coyote swaps you know new edge low miles on the motor a lot of aftermarket modifications but we're gonna see what the uh what good old car max appraises it at so we're waiting on the guy to come back and like i said he was pretty much pretty cool about it he was just like you know he's actually pretty amazed by like the swap and everything and so was the other guy trying to buy it so we're gonna let you know what they uh offer me so what do you think you still still on a thousand? Yeah, still a thousand. Still a thousand. So I'm thinking like, honestly, I'm thinking like five five hundred, just because of the year of the car. I don't think they're gonna look at the motor or any aftermarket stuff. Like the guy asking me questions, he was like, any aftermarket modifications done to the uh, suspension or anything? And he just clicked yes right away. Here, so, he's yeah, coming back. he's coming back. So I don't even need to cut the camera out. There she is, right there. I'm driving at 350, never mind. I don't know. Did he? Hopefully, he got used to driving it. Oh, you just hear a skrr. Dude, I would be so pissed. I'd, I'd walk out to the slot right now. Right now, would be picking me a new Coyote car. That's my next car. For some reason, I really do want to drive a Challenger. I don't know why. I find those cars really badass. Like a Scat Pack or something. It's Mopar, baby. Eh, there's nothing wrong with Mopar. I'm a car guy. I like majority cars. Majority of the cars. So luckily, I've seen a few people see that I'm filming right now, but hopefully just me standing on the edge. They don't really say anything or care. I mean, a few employees have walked by, looked at me, like there's one over here, and he just hasn't really said anything, so. Hopefully they don't kick us out before you get my appraisal, because then this would be like a waste of time. Not a waste of time, this is a good experience, but just kind of like a waste of my gas. And there's a really nice AMG. Boy, BMW. There's a really nice Mercedes AMG, and I really love the new AMGs that they're coming out with. So I'm just going to flash that real quick. So never mind, I think the guy took off with my car, or maybe he was just leaving the stoplight. I think that's what it was. I think he's having a really fun time driving it. What I did want to do was somehow hook up my GoPro and have it like in 
like where you can maybe see him but not see him oh. but i think he would have probably spotted it and they would have probably said something but all right i hear him coming back so i'm gonna What do you think, man? Your experience of driving a swap car that you would think is like a, an older motor? Uh, car. Well, I didn't really get on it. I mean, yeah, it's got tons of power. <laughs> you can get on it at once. I told you, you could get on it. Yeah, Chesterfield wouldn't appreciate it. My boss wouldn't appreciate <laughs> no, we're that. Not <laughs> no, I was thinking you key back. Um, so, we have a bet kind of going. He says 1,000, I say 500. Just because, like I'm explaining in my video, the car is old, and there's a small effort, uh, like you know, small stuff that you guys got to pick out. So this car would go to auction before like it being sold on the lot, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, we wouldn't uh, we wouldn't sell it on the on our front lot one because of age and the number of aftermarket parts on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, and then know. the other thing is like the odometer, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it so it reads high. Like if it did come on, I don't know if it did, but it's over three hundred thousand on the yeah. body, so that's a lot of miles. So yes, yeah. this car has seen some road but and what would you what would you if you're a private party sale or like auctioneer what would you think this car would go for i mean you just have to find somebody that's in the market for that mm -hmm. i mean because you know you don't see many of these especially True. with that that engine in it so i'm sure there's somebody out there that'd be willing to pay so it's kind of hard to tell because you know you probably need more than one car to kind of determine mm -hmm. what the actual value is on the car mm -hmm. so i don't know we're gonna go inside and just kind of put our heads together as a team to come up with an, okay. a value for this. Um, but it is a, it's a cool car. It's Sweet, it's man. Fun. Thank you. There you go. So, you need to keep back. should be about uh, 15 minutes from here. Okay. And okay? I, I can't bring the camera inside. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. That's the only yeah. downside. Yeah. All right. There you have it. There you have it, guys. Straight from the guy that drove the car. He thinks it's a pretty cool car. So we're just going to wait about 15 minutes and Hope it'd be quicker than that, but we're gonna wait and see what the uh, appraisal is. So I will let you guys know and I'll catch you back inside the car. All right, so I have the appraisal paper and it's kind of what I expected, but not what I expected. They offered a little more than I would expect. So everything going down, everything was in good condition. Uh, the dash, they said, was the dash is cracked in one small part. So, like I said, they took this small thing into account, and the odometer wasn't lighting up. So they just put one mileage, one mile for the mileage. But they really didn't know what to put anyways because it's a brand new motor. But they were really cool about it. The guy that uh, did the appraisal and everything was cool. The guy that I talked to was pretty cool. But they are very adamant about me selling them this car. So, you were right. He was right. Yep. This is what they offered. Appraisal offer $1,000 for a Coyote swapped Mustang. Give me $6,000 more dollars and then you can have the motor is what I bought it for brand new. Literally, in the car world, $1,000 is not that much. That won't even buy you a set of like Rovo's wheels unless they're discounted or Black Friday deal or something like that But they were really cool about it and stuff like that I was just like when I was before I was leaving the guy was just like hey, you know Follow up with you in a couple days. I was like, yeah, that's fine You know, I kind of just went with it like yeah, I'm looking for a new Mustang which I'm really not at the moment So really not at all, but the guy was just like hey, you know It's a lot easier if you just sell us this car and you know, there's plenty of Mustangs on the lot and I was just thinking in my head, like, mm, with all the aftermarket parts and stuff, dude, my motor alone uh, is not even worth a thousand dollars. You can't even buy like a full exhaust for these cars. For the 15s, like long tube headers are like 1,200 bucks. A thousand dollars won't buy you a good set unless you like, I guess, get a lower company brand. But 
hey it was all in for fun so i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, i got as much as i could filming wise like i said they didn't really want me filming on the property so they were actually pretty cool about not you know like asking me to leave or something or getting mad they just didn't want their faces in the you know camera or anything like that or i, I couldn't bring it inside so i will chop this as chop this up as much as i can uh to where you can hear it and understand but the guy had a blast driving the car i know he did so I will catch you in the next video and got to thank my buddy here for coming along and he was right a thousand bucks so like I said share sub like if you want more content and have a good one.